Okay. All right. Well, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, a uh, tough day coming in here and, uh, you know, and um, got together with the team this morning and went through the game and kind of continuing that process here this afternoon. Uh, understand there's a lot of plays in the game that we need to do better. A lot of things out there that uh, need to improve. It's got to start, you know, with coaching. Uh, it's got to start with me. I've got to fix some of the mistakes that were out there and we're all with the team and give ourselves a chance to win. Um, I think there's a lot of plays that, you know, everyone feels they could have done better and, and uh, you know, the outcome would have been different. Uh, give Kansas City a lot of credit. That's a that's a great team. You know, they're coached extremely well and uh, they got a lot of really good players out there and, and they, uh, you know, they competed really hard too. So, um, you know, it's a tough game to walk into on a Monday, but certainly there's a lot to learn from. It's early in the season. You know, it's just the last game of September. It's uh, game number four. So got a long way to go in front of us and the big thing for us would be just to, uh, you know, try to go back to work and, and improve. So. By week coming up is a good time for us to, you know, really go back and look at the games that we played. Um, you know, we're four games in, and, and most teams will, um, you know, take a look at those four games as we go forward as the breakdown uh, when they're trying to evaluate us and, and see things that we've done well and things that we've done not so well. So uh, we got to improve those things that we haven't been very good at and, and move forward from there and continually just try to get better as a team. Um, and that'll be our mindset going forward. So, um, you know, like I said last night, nothing really changes as far as that's concerned. You know, I think we got a tough team. I think we got a mentally tough team. I think they push through any situation. Um, you know, I don't think our team blinks. I think they kind of keep going forward, and, um, you know, and that's great to see. But, uh, you know, in the end, um, all we want to do is win, and uh, that's our goal. That won't change. And, uh, you know, it starts with me, and we got to just keep pushing forward to try to do that every single week. So uh, we're back to work here today, and we'll, we'll push through the rest of the week. So where we're at. What we got? I know you guys evaluate, you split the season into quarters, kind of evaluate it that way. <coughs> Why we be where it is probably allows that even a little bit more. Just maybe a quick thought of, of your first quarter, what you thought of it, maybe your evaluation. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I think we'll, we'll dive into that here more probably in the next couple of days. Uh, we're kind of really just focused on cleaning up uh, the game from yesterday. But um, I think, you know, what I've said so far, the, you know, the first four games, um, I think you know, we've talked a lot about September football, what that looks like in the NFL. Um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of bad plays out there. There's some good plays and uh, a lot of really important situational plays. And I think those are the ones that we're trying to learn from. And, and um, you know, we've done well in some of those situations. We've done not so well in others. And, um, you know, we can build off of that. But we got to really just kind of just working to eliminate the bad football, keep trying to get to good football, consistent football. Um, and I think, you know, the one thing for us after the first four games or first four weeks, I'd say the, um, you know, thing that we'll build on the most is really our process. Right now, I think we're kind of, you know, obviously in rhythm. We understand what the week looks like. We understand what the work is that has to go in uh, week in, week out in order to prepare and get ready to go. And, and um, you know, that's really important to us is that process being consistent because that's how we improve and that's how we evaluate the improvement that we have through the course of the year. And, um, you know, as coaches and players, we got to continually just develop. You know, we got to develop to get better. And, um, you know, certainly from, from that standpoint, that's what we'll, we'll take a good look at this week. About your timeout strategy in the last minute. Sure. Uh, can you just explain kind of why you took the timeouts when you did, and maybe why not have Kansas City force Kansas City to take a timeout by not taking a timeout? Can you just kind of walk me through. Yeah, some of it. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Yep. Um, I will. And some of it, you know, is strategic, and and there's reasons behind it that I probably won't dive into too much, you know. Um, but there was probably a course there where they got into the low red. I'll say where um, maybe only one of those situations maybe could have called a timeout a little bit quicker, but really. Um, whether you call it uh, on the first and 10 or second down situation, it doesn't really matter. You're trying to use them when you have to and then um, save them when you need to, you know, knowing that we would have a couple plays on the other side of it if they did score, which they did, uh, to try to use one to uh, get us in a situation where we could, you know, throw some downfield. So um, certainly part of that is, is the ball inbounds? Is it out of bounds? Uh, is it complete or not? You know, in some of those, uh, one of the situations in particular would have been uh, a call timeout, but it was incomplete. So that one saved us there on that uh, situation. And then um, really the one they scored on after that one, that would have been another timeout situation there. So um, really only, you know, as far as the, our philosophy with that, there was probably only one other spot where we could have called it a little bit earlier, but it just would have been flipped between a first down timeout versus a second down timeout. That's really all from that standpoint. Kind of take your, take, kind yep. of take your chances and then force them to use their last timeout. More yep, there's a lot of those situations, you know, um, weren't quite there yet, but probably coming up uh, maybe in the next one or two plays, if that had extended a little bit longer, that would have been the situation. Try to put the pressure back on them to uh, to make those decisions. Absolutely. Yep. How about the, uh, the non-challenge of the pass interference? I mean, we've talked about a lot and how rare it is. Sure. They're overturned. I don't know, the one in the third Are you talking about the carry-on? Yeah. 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 Um, you know, 
Yeah, I think again, uh, going through um, and the league is obviously continually put out uh, puts out information for us to evaluate and to go on kind of the trends and things like that, so that we're all on the same page. Um, certainly, in that situation, you know, saw it live, saw it on the replay. Um, nothing there that significantly hindered. You know, which is the the phrase that we're all looking for from that standpoint. Uh, no different than the one we we challenged maybe the week before with Danny Amendola. You know, similar situation, similar look. So, um, you know, nothing really there that we thought would uh, risk. You know, the risk would have been worth it. And I want to ask about Stafford too. The injury. I mean, weeks two and three, like he didn't get sacked at all, and, and whatever he's dealing with with the hip. You know, with the the fact that he was in pain and dealing with something in week four, I don't know, is this something that can get better through the bye week or is it something that you're going to have to manage? I mean, is it, a, is it a concern going forward, I guess, having 12 games in 12 weeks? And sure. Aware and care that you can take. Yeah, I mean, I think a month into the NFL season, I think everyone's got something that they're dealing with, and that um, you know whether they deal with it for a prolonged period of time, or uh, whether it's day to day, or sometimes maybe it's um, a couple weeks in and then finally turns the corner. You know, we'll see. Everybody's a little bit different on all that. Certainly, uh, having this opportunity now to, um, you know, with the bye week, you know, to try to just get everybody a little bit of rest when we can is always helpful. But I think everybody's a little bit um, from that standpoint. They've played for, you know, NFL football games. I think everybody's kind of dealing with something, and certainly, you know. Like I've said before, he's one of the toughest guys on our team. So, um, you know, him, he goes out every single week, shows up and works hard and uh, does everything he can to help this team win. And, uh, you know, he did that yesterday too. So, um, but uh, probably pretty pretty normal from an NFL standpoint. Did you keep the full backups up yesterday just insurance for him? Is that such a thing? Uh, really, you know, we had um, we had some some spots that you know, kind of going into the week, we thought um, we didn't know if we would get everybody to the game in general, you know, from injuries and stuff like that, and where we needed some help. So, um, kind of always in those situations where, depending on you know how the week's going, you're gonna keep whoever you know you need to have up. And I would say, and where we are right now with the uh, the two and the three quarterback position on our on our roster, we're we're still evaluating in that. So we thought it'd be good to have them both for that game. Yep. Uh, I just wanted to ask you about a couple guys. I haven't really asked you about a whole lot. Uh, Tavon Wilson had 10 tackles yesterday, yeah. and then uh, Ashawn's been pretty active in all four games this year. Um, really pushed the pocket a few times yesterday. Just what you've seen from those two guys yeah. before the season. Yep. Uh, start with Tavon. Um, Tavon actually had a he had a pretty tough assignment yesterday. He had a lot of different roles, a lot of different packages, and a lot of different positions that he played. Um, a lot of confidence in him to be able to handle kind of all of those scenarios, and and then uh, even with the um, you know, injury during the game, early in the game with with um, with Diggs, uh, that he had to kind of go into more of an expanded role too, and that stuff. He always prepares hard. He's extremely tough. He's very smart, um, and he you know he plays fast. He plays really really fast, and he prepares well. So someone we have a lot of confidence for in those situations that we need him, and he goes out and executes his role extremely well. Whether it's defense or special teams, you know, he's a key component to some of the special teams units that we have out there too, and really um, takes charge of a lot of those units and gets them ready to go. So um, thought he played really hard, thought he tried to go out and execute everything that we asked him to do. And um, there's certainly, you know, like everybody, I think there's plays out there that, you know, um, we all wish we could have back and he's in that category also. But um, from that standpoint, just, you know, he was ready to go and worked really hard at it. So, um, you know, credit to him on that. I think Ashawn's continually trying to get better. You know, I think that's, um, you know, we're, Four games in, and, and there's some improvement that we're seeing as we go through. And uh, I think all those guys up front, um, you know, my number one thing is pad level on both both lines of scrimmage, you know, offense and defense. Um, and and we're getting there with that, but we got to keep pushing going forward with it. Uh, mixed him into some different looks too, you know, kind of being where we were with the defensive tackle rotation um, for this game. Uh, he had some extra opportunities to go out there and and show us some of that stuff, and that's great. You know, we're always going to go off what um, you know where we are um, coming out of the game, and and I think he showed some some good. Good promise in some of those different looks that we had out there. So another guy worked really hard this week and was really you know dialed into the different game plans that we had. So uh, I thought that was good. Even before uh, Quandre went down, it looked like Tavon was set up to have a pretty big role in the game plan. Yep. Uh, Will Harris stepped in and kind of filled in a lot of those steps. You've got four safeties, pretty versatile um, guys. How much flexibility does that give you in the back end to uh, really adjust and, and mold your scheme to week to week matchups? Um, I think, you know, uh, the safety position is kind of one of the critical ones, I think, in the NFL right now. Just And, again, maybe a little bit of that plays off the multiplicity of the tight ends that we talk about all the time in the NFL. They're kind of the um, the two groups, I would say, that are have kind of the most variance in what they do. So um, I think Will, you know, 
uh, again, for a young player, prepared really hard and stepped in and really did a good job uh, from that standpoint of filling the roles. Um, CJ Moore had to go out there and, and didn't miss a beat either. You know, went out and performed pretty well too, and that was in a critical situation. So, um, I think those guys are just working really hard in that room to to get ready to go. I think everybody, um, you know, and, and really all three phases, just know that um, we only have so many guys active for the game, and if your number's called, you got to go out and perform at a high level. So, um, it's good to see that. It's good to see that in you know games like yesterday, and um, you know, obviously, all that's that's great, and but you know, in the end, we're just trying to win. So um, I think that's kind of where our focus is right now: is how do we improve? But um, you know, to those guys' credit, you know, just being ready to go in those situations, it was it was good. Talk a lot about splitting the, nope, go ahead. Uh, splitting the, the workload in the backfield, you know, just making sure that nobody gets to over carrying at thirty touches or so yesterday. Um, I don't know, was that just a product of the game highly coming up, or can we see showing the ability to maybe? Uh, I think it was really just product of the game, to be honest with you. I think it was something where, um, you know, he was he was running really well, and then, um, you know, really honestly for for the situation that came up uh, where where we had the swing there with the the fumble on the goal line. Um, just thought it was a confidence thing for for me to get him back out there and get him going again, and uh, I thought he really stepped up to that you know to that challenge, and that was good to see out of a young player, um, for him to just kind of take that and, and want to be back in that situation and want to get going. So, um, you know, and then the game was just flowing in that direction, so I thought it was good. But those other guys contributed you know well in their roles too. Just um, I would say that was just more of that one particular game situation. Beyond rest and trying to you know get your injuries, what is the number one thing you look for for guys to take care of in the bye week? Um, I think the bye week, you know, besides the health, you know, and all that stuff, I would say it's really, it's all about self-scout for us. Um, you know, we're going to have a portion of it. I know everyone's going to have an eye forward, which we need to uh, with the division coming up. But, uh, you know, for us, it's really about improving the things that we've not done so well in the first four. Um, again, kind of like I mentioned, there was, you know, most, um, you know, most coaches are going to go back and look at the last four games. Some might look a little bit different, and certainly now with four games under our belt for the season, we know those games are going to be highly scrutinized and looked at um, by other teams and other other opponents. So um, those are things that we have to fix first and foremost, and that's kind of where our focus will be here immediately. Yeah, um, you know, just in in protocol as far as that's concerned, but but really, um, you know, just normal. I mean, you know, say he's fine, everything like that, but. Would be in that. Nope, just just the protocol right now. With, Good. With TJ, I mean, you look, I guess, fairly emotional in, in the moment. Yeah. Just, I mean, what, what's going through your head as, as a coach when, when one of your guys is, is down there and going through something like that? Um, I mean, obviously, just thinking about that that player at that time and that moment, um, you know, and just making sure they're okay. Um, care a lot about these guys. We spend a lot of time together, and um, you know, the part of the game that you hate to see is when when guys get hurt or guys are down on the ground like that. So. Um, you know, for me, it's, you know, the relationship is the first and foremost, and, and you forget about the game in those moments, and you just worry about the individual. Um, so um, that's really, that's my only focus, is just making sure he's okay and, and making sure that he's getting everything that he needs to at that point from attention from, uh, you know, our medical staff does a great job, and those guys were on it right away. So, um, but he was good when he, you know, sat up, you know, got him smile and all that stuff, so I felt better. So it was good. Okay. Thank you, man. Yep. Special teams just continue to improve across the board. Um, doing a lot of really good things this first quarter of the season and we got to keep going and, and keep improving on those things you know um the opponent that we're playing next week or the following week after this bye week you know they're 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 playing next week we're not so we got to find a way to get that edge you know while also taking care of our bodies and getting our time off when we can where does defense get better in your mind um, just improving on on the details of of the game and how we're how we're calling plays, um, how we're getting lined up, what we're what we're um, communicating pre snap, everything like that, and also post snap. Just making sure that we're always talking out there and we're always aware of what's going on around us. Just eliminating the bad plays is that the, when you go back and look at the the first four games, mm -hmm. there's a lot of good in there too. A little bit of bad. Is it eliminating the bad and studying the bad is that definitely the important thing about this bye week. Definitely, I think it's continuing to cut down on on what has attacked us and just making sure that we see it coming before it gets there. You know, um, there's a lot of things that these teams, these four teams that we played, they did similar. You know, and how they got us on the same plays. So um, we just need to see those things pre-snap. We need to make sure we continue to communicate, as I said, and just. Come out there and just play fast and play hard. Get to the ball with a bad attitude. When you look at the, at the fourth and eight, how, how difficult was that to watch again, knowing that, that you know you guys step up and make a play there, you probably win that game. And is that a hard one to watch? I mean, it's definitely tough, but you know, I mean, it's 
it's like the old saying, man, like it, just one play doesn't define the game. You know, we had multiple opportunities following that play to really get off the field, and we still let those guys get down there to the one-yard line. So it's just it comes down to really making sure that we just take care of the details. We take care of everything that needs to be taken care of. What happened on the point down the um, I mean, we just got to make sure that, you know, we keep the quarterback in the pocket and and also just as a defense, you know, like got to make sure that we get back, we get our heads back. We, you know, the crowd kind of tells you what's going on, you know, with their energy or with, you know, but we got to be able to be aware of what's going on around us and make sure that we can get back and kind of make a tackle on the guy before, you know, he gets the first down. So it's a, it's a collective effort across the board, um, just making sure that we're always aware of what's going on and what the situation is. This team understand or believe how good it can be. Have you guys learned something about yourself through these first four games about what you're capable of? We're definitely a team that's going to fight, like no matter what. It doesn't matter what people say about us, uh, what people feel about us. We're definitely going to fight no matter what the circumstance is. And um, we know what we have, and we know that, um, in a sense, we're kind of like a uh, – like a uh, – a newly seeded plant in a way, you know, and we're starting to blossom a little bit, but we got to keep watering. We got to keep giving ourselves that light. We got to keep just making sure that we pay attention to the things that are going to help us grow and get better and ultimately come out and just perform to the best of our ability to exact and do exactly what we know we can do on Sundays. One of the things that you thought to find you guys are being mentally tough. Mm -hmm. What is that? you're talking about the plants and seeding and everything? What, what has changed from last year? What's what's been the difference for you guys in one season? Um, I think we've we've definitely taken taken more into account the details of the game um, and kind of put aside what what we kind of had holding us back last year. And it, it was multiple things, but. Just those things that kind of got in our way, we kind of moved out, moved those things out of the way and just made sure that we focused even harder when we're tired or when we're not feeling good. Like, make we focus even harder on the details of the things that are going to help us win the game. You just got back last week. Is the bye week kind of disrupting you, kind of feeling your way back into the game? Or I mean, I don't know. I, I think the bye week is, is kind of it's, it's coming at a good time for everybody, man. And just making sure that I come out here just like the rest of my teammates and we use it as an opportunity to continue to get better. And that's exactly how I'm looking at it, you know, just coming out, continue to play football, do the, play the game that I love, man. I just do what I love, and I just I want to get better with my teammates, you know. Two more guys. J.D. Matt talked about, you know, this being a big week for self-evaluation. Mm -hmm. um, what do you like about what the defense has done so far, and is there one or two things that you think you really need to uh, drill down on and fix it this week? Um, just coming out, man, and just making sure that we're communicating and, and – and just seeing the details of the game. Like, I, I know I keep saying this word, details, 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 but they're right out there in front of us every single play. And when you miss them, that's when you get beat. And just making sure that we don't take any situation for granted. We don't let anything slip and just understanding what this team does or what any team does to attack us and making sure that we just attack that. You know, don't let it attack us. We make sure we attack it and execute and do our job. The other thing I want to ask you about was just the NFC North race. I mean, the NFC North just seems, you know, there's four really good teams in here. Um, what's going to be the deciding factor, you know, as we go forward? And, and what do you just make of how much that was? I mean, the biggest thing that we can do is just continue to look in the mirror each and every week and just making sure that we focus on getting Detroit better and making sure that every week we improve because, you know, it doesn't, like, at the end of the day, our opponent's going to be new every week. But at the same time, we got to make sure that we come out, we can match the intensity and come out and win games. So we got to take care of everything on our end before we can look out. Jared, how important is it? How important is it to come out the by firing right from the beginning and that kind of like the start of this September football or first team's time as well? Right from the beginning when I come back and ready to go as a team. I mean, the bye week is, is huge. I mean, it's just a time to really just recalibrate, get everything back under, under, get your feet back underneath you, get your legs right, get your body right. And coming out, like, we got to make sure that we, we take this bye week and use it for what it is and come out and, like you said, we got to fire on all cylinders. We can't let anything slip. You know, we we had games that we should have won this this first quarter, but at the same time, we just got to come out and do everything we can. Thanks, Jay. You won't be here long, so um, I just prepare hard every week and um, prepare as if I'm going to play every play. And yes, I, uh, obviously, I got an opportunity to do that. Kill on the, uh, you guys have been, you know, really excellent takeaways so far in the season. 
uh, defense special teams. Obviously, you guys worked on a lot during camp drills. And everything. What, what is it that's different, I guess, this year that you guys are excelling in that so much more? Some guys got a special knack for it as well. Now, you I mean I don't want to take anything away from those guys. Um, JC got a special knack for it. Jamal got a special knack for it. So um, we just got to keep working hard at it and try to give our offense as many opportunities as possible. Matt says, Matt Patricia says that you know he expects that to tighten up. There's a little sloppy play early in the season. That's obviously going to be on film. You guys, are going to, other teams are going to see you guys being optimistic that way. How do you continue, you know, being so uh, so efficient and doing that? Uh, we continue to get better too. You know, those guys are going to try to tighten up on the ball, and we got to find different ways to get it out. Um, uh, we want to get our quarterback, uh, get our quarterback on the field as much as, pos as possible, so they can score as many points as possible.